Hello, horror family. Here we are, my fellow heathens, our beloved holiday to celebrate and reflect upon the enjoyment horror brings into our lives. Many of you, if not all, know the traditions combined to create the hybrid holiday we call Halloween. A mixture of All Hallows' Eve, All Saints' Day, the Celtic Harvest Festival, with many customs from various areas around the world mixed in for one fantastic night for tricks, treats, and a good scare. After all, it is Halloween. Everyone's entitled to one good scare. I wanted to take time to appreciate the Gaelic tradition of Samhain, or if you were born in the 80s and a fan of Ghostbusters, Samhain. Actually, the modern Irish name is pronounced Samhain, and in Scottish Gaelic as well, it is the Manx Gaelic pronunciation that is Samhain, a dialect of Geodic Celtic from the Isle of Man. The term originates from each language deriving from their own word for November. Among the Celts, the year was divided into a light half and dark half, with the festival marking the end of the harvest season starting the winter dark half. The history is said to go back into ancient times, where Neolithic tombs in Ireland are told to be aligned with the sunrise during this time of year, and Irish mythology and early literature is deep in tales and lore, focusing during the autumn equinox. After the cattle are brought down to be slaughtered for the winter, there were special bonfires lit to protect and with rituals performed to appease deities like the Sea Day, a group of fairies or elves from Irish and Scottish mythology that many scholars believed were remnants of the pagan gods and nature spirits. The term also has a variant form of spelling like Sith for any Star Wars fans out there. Some of these creatures include the Abertach, a cruel tyrant magician dwarf who committed terrible deeds according to legend, as well as alternative tales of him rising from the grave to drink the blood of his subjects. Fun fact, in 2000 a professor at the University in Ulster put forward a theory that Bram Stalker may have originated his inspiration for Dracula from the legend of the Abernach and not from Vlad III. Being nigh is a Gaelic term for washerwoman, an emissary of death who goes up and down the rivers washing the clothes of those who are about to die. The Alp Luacra, or joint eater, is a fairy who enters the mouth of the sleeping and eats the recently consumed food from their stomach. Often disguised as a newt, this creature was told to cause stomach pain and a curse similar to the one from Stephen King's Thinner. Cat C. Day is said to be a witch who has the ability to transform into a black cat nine times and hunts the Scottish Highlands. Or a changeling, a creature common in horror. A fairy or goblin will steal away a human child and replace with that of one of its own, tricking the unknowing parents into raising one of their children. These creatures were able to cross during the liminal time, when the boundary between this world and the other world, or turnail in Irish mythology, could be easily crossed. Food and drink were left out for these spirits, as well as feasts placed for the deceased who may return seeking hospitality. Groups of people dressed up as various characters known as mummers would go from door to door displaying performances for food or to hide themselves from these creatures. In the 20th century, Celtic neo-pagans and Wiccans have formed their own observation of Samhain as a religious holiday, though neo-pagans celebrate on the opposing side of the calendar May 1st. The Wiccans consider Samhain as one of the most important and greater Sabbaths from their Wheel of the Year, four celebrations centered on the equinox and solstices. Similar to other beliefs, it is said to be the time to celebrate the lives of those who died and embrace the darkness, which is opposite to their spring festival of Beltane, the Festival of Light. There are various roots branching out the origins of the tree we call Halloween a beautifully constructed assortment of beliefs and practices that morphed over the centuries into what we celebrate today. A practice tribute to the old traditions as well as the gods they were meant to serve. The fact they live on in modern society is a statement to their strength against the test of time. Whatever the meaning for you, either a great excuse to decorate your house with an intense amount of monsters and plastic tombstones, or to hand out candy and see what hilarious costumes are displayed by the young ones, it is important to embrace this time of year. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? How are you going to be celebrating Halloween? What will you be dressing as? Comment in the section below and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Happy Halloween.